Not long ago, a study was done on implicit bias, meaning how people unconsciously treat others who are different than they are. During this study, a nicely dressed lady pretended to fall right in the middle of a shopping mall. Hidden cameras captured the activity as people rushed to her side, and every time the scenario was ran, it took less than 10 seconds for someone to be there helping her to her feet. Next, they had a poorly dressed lady do the same, who was dirty and smelled of alcohol. And it always took more than 15 minutes for anybody to even notice that she was on the ground, let alone come and help. Somehow, the scent or the look of a person changed their value. Have you ever found yourself doing something like this? You know, like making moral calculations about who is or who isn't deserving of your help. You know, like maybe it's their fault. Maybe it's their choices that brought them to this situation. We decide whose side we rush to or whose side we, we don't. As followers of Jesus, we're given some clarity on this though. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 tells us this. It says, and let each of us consider how we can spur one another on towards love and good deeds. So another, number one, we're supposed to be about helping people. But number two, we're also supposed to be about encouraging others to join us in this journey. So it's not just about doing good, but it's creating a culture where we encourage others to join us as well. And so next time you have the opportunity to help someone, do it, but also encourage others to join you as we continue to work together to make the world a better place.